item is probably an object lesson in why you should always surf sober, because if I had the chance to buy this again, I probably wouldn't. It's an AM-FM radio with a built-in 8-track player. Now, it's got a 70s aesthetic to it, but I was really going for something like the Weltron 2001 Spaceball. This is a bit of a design classic, and I love this 1970s retro, futuristic, space-age type design. But if you look on eBay, the prices of those are way up there, so I got this device as a bit of a second best. It's called the Planetron. Now, whilst it doesn't at first look like it, this is, believe it or not, a portable device. As well as powering it from mains, you can put perhaps 500 batteries in the back of here and carry this thing around, because next to the aerial on the top, you've also got a carrying handle. It's got stereo speakers, I think, one either side anyway, and it's got this rotatable base, which acts like a suction cup when you put it down on a flat surface. But there is one thing it really does remind me of more than anything else, and that is a fembot from the Six Million Dollar Man and the Bionic Woman, something that really used to creep me out as a child. Maybe that's why I ended up buying this, I'm not too sure. Anyway, as far as an 8-track player goes, it's not the best. I mean, 8-tracks can sound pretty good, believe it or not. I've got a decent player in the lounge, this doesn't sound that great. You see, when you press the channel selector, it moves to the different channels and the lights light up. Some of them are brighter than others, they're not particularly good. You can put it on the radio, and the radio works exactly as you'd expect it to. Now, tuning it in here, you get a little tuning light in the middle there. But one thing that's quite amusing with this, if you want to tune it in in the dark, you've got this dial light button. And you press that down, it's a momentary button, and when you hold it down, a little light comes on at the top of the tuning display there to enable you to see what you're doing when you haven't got light in the room. Now this isn't a well-made device. The track selector lights on it flash around like a 1981 Ford Escort trying to make a left-hand turn signal. And when you put a cartridge in the machine that it doesn't like, it just decides to go ahead and eat it. So perhaps I was right after all about its original Fembot origins, or is that a blokebot? But anyway, for the moment, as always, thanks for watching.